Visit our fabulous sponsor, Ka Gold Jewelry, link in the description below. Hello, fabulous Libra. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of March 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is, and it truly is amazing. Now, I will get back to the beginning of the month where there's so many big things going on. But for you, I'm actually gonna start in the later part of the month. And that is because right around the equinox, which happens around the 21st of the month, give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet, happy equinox to everyone out there. Well, it's gonna be an important moment for you, not only because it is the equinox, but because there is also a full moon in your sign. Normally you get one full moon per sign per year, and this is your moment. And having this full moon at the very beginning of your sign does suggest a particularly emotional time for you. Some sense of a truth being revealed that changes your perception about a key dynamic or key situation. And some sense of truth being revealed about yourself, a clarity as to who you are, but also whom it is that you are not. And as you are able to make that distinction, you realize where it is that maybe you've gone a little bit off path from what you know about yourself and the truths that you hold about you. With these realizations, for some, it will be exciting and it will be thrilling. For others, there might be a sense of sadness attached to this time, but also great empowerment. And with this sense of truth being revealed, not only do you welcome in some closure, but also a bright and a brand new beginning, some excitement about your future ahead, knowing where it is that you are ready to begin again. So in this way, this full moon holds the characteristic not only of a full moon, but also that newness that we normally think of with a new moon. It holds that sense of potential of realization that full moons bring, particularly a realization of something near and dear to your heart, whether you've been working on it for a while, whether it's a professional, whether it's personal, whether it's romantic, um, regardless of what area it is in, whatever it is that you think about as most immediate for you, it is that very area that gets this powerful illumination. And as a result of that illumination, there is a change. And some of the more powerful change this month is gonna take place within you. And as a result of what it is that changes, you find yourself feeling refreshed and renewed to begin again. I'll come back to that full moon in a moment because it is early in the month that there are big things happening as well. Right around the fifth and sixth, again, you wanna give this a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet, three, big celestial events taking place. So the first is a Mercury retrograde. And in the same part of the sky, the second thing, which is a new moon as well. Now it is gonna be uh, these celestial events that are taking place in a part of the sky for you that have to do with your day-to-day -day life and your day-to-day -day reality. And so there are a few things that I wanna caution you with this. This part of the sky, yes, it has to do with work and the workplace and the people who surround you there but it also has to do with your habits, your daily rituals, and the little things that you do to take the best of care of you, including your health-related habits. Uh, anything from medications to checkups can be covered here. I would advise, especially because it is a Mercury retrograde season, uh, that you strive not to make any kind of big changes where it comes to your medications. Um, and I would also say that if you have any health related tests to do, if it is optional, if you have a choice, I would encourage you not to do so this month. Now, sometimes we don't have a choice. We have to do it, it shows up for us. And if that is the case, of course, you wanna trust your life and trust your path. However, if you do have a choice, um, the thing is that this Mercury retrograde is dancing throughout this coming month uh, and has been dancing with Neptune. That is a big signature of this time. This new moon is happening hand in hand with Neptune as well. And Neptune is notorious for confusion and a lack of clarity. And I feel as if there are any changes made or any tests done, either you'll have to retake them or the results that you get may not necessarily be accurate. And so to save yourself from that, it might be a better idea 
especially where things are optional, to just pace yourself just a little bit until we get into the month of April, where we've got a much stronger sky uh, for things like this. However, this can be a powerful time where it comes to spiritualizing your habits. Again, you wanna be careful with things like medications, uh, especially if you've been taking them for a long time. That's where you wanna be a little bit mindful, but if you are bringing a more spiritual understanding to uh, your eating habits, for example, um, to the little rituals that you do, wanting to incorporate more spiritual intention behind your smallest actions, well, that is a powerful and very empowered and positive way to use this energy. With the new moon, it can bring with it new opportunities where it comes to the workplace. So whether it is new people entering the picture, uh, whether it is new assignments, new tasks, new roles, um, new projects, new clients, new customers, all of this becomes possible. And when you have a new moon in this part of the sky, it can make you particularly busy. And so it does look like, especially in the first part of the month, there's a lot of very busy energy taking place and it will feel like there is a full plate in terms of the opportunities that are there for you, but it seems to be very rewarding. For some, it's gonna feel like a dream come true. For others, there's gonna be a deeper lesson to make sure that you're taking care of yourself in the process. The thing that I'm very encouraged about is that this new moon is going to be speaking in harmony with Mars. Mars moving through a financial part of your sky that has to do with sort of larger uh, incomes, larger money like commission payments. And we have a harmonious connection with Saturn as well. Saturn right now moving through a part of the sky for you that has to do with the past and people that you've been connected with in the past. And the fact that Pluto is also there as well, speaking in harmony from this same part of the sky that Saturn is in, well, that's all the astro tech talk uh, to say that chances are there are gonna be opportunities. They have a lot of potential to bring a lot of stability into your life. It looks like they are opportunities that are well-earned. And that's why I think that for some Librans out there, it's gonna feel like some opportunity is close to a dream come true but it could be a dream. So that's where you wanna be careful. If it is that uh, there are any kind of contracts that are part of this, again, you wanna be careful, you wanna trust your life, but it could be that there's some fine print there that isn't being seen as clearly. But for all this, it is a strong month for you where it comes to making changes and feeling like you are using your days well to move yourself towards bigger and bolder and more positive changes as part of the bigger picture of your life. It could be that people that you've been connected to in the past are a part of the new opportunities that find you now. And it can also be that there are uh, large one-time financial rewards associated with the opportunities that do come. And that really is thanks to Mars making harmonious connections with Saturn and with Pluto throughout this month as well. It looks like where it comes to your relationship with financial institutions, even with the confusion and even with that caution with contracts, it can be a really good time to seek favor from uh, financial institutions. Now, where it comes to matters of love, what a powerful month it is, of course, for a few reasons. One is I'm going back to that Mars. Now, the part of the sky that Mars is in has to do with uh, many different things, but one of the things where it comes to matters of love, it has to do with the vulnerability. It has to do with a deeper intimacy with another person. The fact that Mars is the ruling planet of your opposite sign means that in some way you are seeking more meaningful connections with others and striving to be more honest with yourself and wanting to be more honest with others as well. But then there's that full moon in your sign and that is gonna be the real moment of truth. And very often the things that are closest to our heart that we hold most dear, uh, the things that make us aware of what we really feel are very often connected to matters of love and matters of heart. And so this can be a very uh, decisive moment for you where it comes to someone that you're getting to know or in established bonds. And for those of you who are truly open to meeting someone new, this is gonna be a very healing month where you are looking at 
trust issues that have been there for you and understanding one of the deeper lessons that I think love, especially in our modern world, is meant to teach us. And that is that you can love fully and completely. And regardless of what happens, because we really have no control when we are in love, regardless of what happens, you will be okay. Regardless of what has happened in the past and however it felt, you are here now, which means that you are okay. And you can learn from any situation, however it transpired. And so as part of this, this can be a month with one or two particularly intense moments where it feels like there is a faded pull towards another person. This becomes that much more likely in the days surrounding the full moon. However, it is all part of leading you back to your own deeper healing and your own deeper truth. And yeah, part of that truth may come up through a very powerful attraction, a uh, catalyst moment with another person. For those of you who are getting to know somebody, uh, this is gonna be a time of deeper reveal on the one hand, but also deeper reflection on your part as well. Now, there is some advice that I give once in a while when I look at the sky and if it's called for, I do give this advice and I'm going to give it to you now. That person that you're getting to know, that person that you are on a first or second or third or fourth or even fifth date with, that person is not your therapist. Um, and I think what happens sometimes very often is that there's such a strong desire for intimacy with another person that uh, we skip a bunch of steps that actually are quite needed. Those steps allow us to establish trust. And um, it may be a moment, whether it is the other person who is reflecting that back to you or you uh, who ends up being caught up in a moment that can have you feeling quite vulnerable or have you feeling like, wow, that's a lot of information or a lot came out. Now, of course, again, you wanna trust your circumstances. At the same time though, it could be a moment where you uh, end up sharing a lot that leads you to that sense of truth, that leads you to uh, the promise of the full moon, which is ultimately to help you to honestly evaluate where you are, to understand where it is that you can allow healthy closure, and to understand how excited you are in some way to begin again. For those of you who are in an established bond, um, with Mars moving through the part of the sky that it is this month, it tends to bring a focus to your partner's uh, finances. So that may be a topic of interest now or development now. However, there are some very strong moments this month that can actually be really good and part of what creates more prosperity in your life through your partner. But having said that, there's also that sense of a deeper vulnerability playing out at this time as well. And it can be an emotional time. Uh, it can feel like there are some, uh, some energies there, some issues there that feel like they're a little bit complicated, but it's absolutely something that the two of you can work through and grow stronger through as well. For others, it may not necessarily feel like some of the trust issues that are stirred now are playing out within your established bond. Um, it may be very clear that some of that has more to do with or entirely to do with you. It may not necessarily have to do with the dynamic in and of itself, but this month does present powerful opportunities to ultimately heal and to know each other more deeply and thereby coming to know yourself more deeply than you have before. And that really is part of the great gift that love offers us among many. What I love about this month for you, it's got to be that full moon in your sign. At the end of the day, when there is a full moon in your sign, you are the holder of light, of power, of excitement, of fortitude. And you are the one who is able to connect with your deeper truth in ways that change you and can change the people around you as well. But it is ultimately only you that you can truly be responsible for. And this is a time when strong emotion will be stirred, but there's also a sense of newness that gives you life, that gives you juice, and that truly excites you about the journey ahead. Well, thank you so much for watching. 
You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. Uranus special. I'll try to link to it in the description below because Uranus this month changes signs as well under the light of that new moon. Um, and I did a whole Uranus special about that. And so you can expect some awareness, some empowerment in the part of the sky that Mars is moving through as well. And I do think that it is going to be this month that represents some of the most profound transformations for you, but it really is the beginning of a very powerful seven year journey. And you're at the very beginning of it. And that is part of the excitement ahead. Well, thank you again. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.